Welcome to this week's app of the week. Today I want to show you an app that's available on the iPad called Answer Garden. This is an excellent tool for allowing students to create um, I, brainstorming charts, ideas, um, and essentially how it works is you can create this space called Answer Garden, provide a question or a prompt for students to answer, and all of their ideas, all of their responses that they have for your writing prompt or for your question will be shown in this answer garden and it will create a word cloud from the students responses and it's all real time so this is a very unique tool something that your students will really have fun with I'm going to start by showing you this tool from the web so I'm showing you the browser version of it so if you just go to your Google um, browser to your Chrome browser and just do a search for answer garden you'll come up with the URL you'll see it's just answergarden.ch so that's where you can locate this website now to begin an answer garden once you once you arrive at the site you're going to select a plus sign to add a brand new one once the once the you hit the plus sign it gives you a, a topic where you will enter your question you can um, choose whatever you want, but this is what this is the prompt that your students will be your be responding to. Okay, so I'm just going to put something for IT Weekly. You, you will have some additional options down here from which you can choose for. You you will have a brainstorm mode, a classroom mode. You also have a moderator mode, and, and each one gives you a description of what each one is. I'm going to leave mine at the classroom mode, but just note that um, you have those different options down here. Answer length, you can leave it at, at 20 characters or you can move it up to 40 characters, either one, whatever you think is um, better for uh, the purposes of your um, your activity for using AnswerGuard. Um, you can create an admin password and you can have email reminders. I'm just going to skip those. You also have spam filters and these other options over here. There's also one where it says um, add local discoverability. That is something that when, that when, we, when I show you the app, you'll see um, local answer gardens that will pop up. So if I, if I include this on here, I can set um, a time frame for how long that particular answer garden will be able to be discovered locally. So you can um, select that and use that however you wish. But once you have your, your prompt in here, you configured it to uh, whatever settings you want, you can hit create. And that will develop your space for your answer card. So here's where your students will begin answering questions um, and giving their responses. So this is the question that we had. So if a student were to um, respond, They can post something here and then it will show down here in the space um, and once what the easiest thing here for, for now as a teacher is once you have the space the key thing is now how do I make it available to my students so you have a couple of options here you can go down here to this share button and when you select that it's going to give you a couple of options down here you will have an embed code um, where you can click on this embed code and you can embed this so that students can see this. You also have a link down here. This link, this, this it'll have the, the URL as, and then a little um, ID number at the, at the end. That ID, that number at the end is the um, ID number that you can give to students when they open up the app. Um, and that will allow them to access this particular answer garden. And I'll show you that here in a few minutes. You will also have um, some other options in here. Again, another, here's, here's another, um, uh, embed code another iframe that you can use but you can simply just give students this URL and they can access this um, from their device okay now I have that I'm not going to open up the app from my iPad and utilize it from here so now if my students have an iPad here they would be able to open up the app and interact with the answer garden from here you see initially the first part here asked me to access my answer garden with an ID number. The ID number was that number at the end of the URL that I was showing you when it gives us the um, unique URL for that particular answer garden. You could type that in here. Um, in this case, it was the, I think it was 378594, I believe it was. Um, if you did set it for the local discoverability, you see um, all the, all the uh, answer gardens that we have preset for that. 
you see they they appear there so so if, if it's still on local discoverability you could see you could let the students click on from here open it up and then they would be able to interact with the answer garden um, that way as well so you see there it has the answer now I could enter in my own particular avatar week so I'm just, just going to put canvas on here as, as one of mine there it goes and now it, it, it is um, going to appear on my screen and as more kids enter more answers they'll be able to see more of these ideas popping up it's a very simple tool it's a very um, interesting one that, that I think students will, will, will find to be enjoyable so that's answer garden um, it is available both um, on the web browser as well on the, as an app on the iPad it is free and it's something that I would encourage you, encourage you to use the next time you have a brainstorming activity with your students.